Hey guys, I'm Sean Carpenter. Hey, if you have the kids or the grandkids coming over for the holidays, I have a simple project, man, that the whole family is going to enjoy. It's very simple, very easy to do, and very cheap, guys. I think you'll all enjoy it. So, hey, stay tuned. Happy holidays, guys. Hey, today on Fisherman's Corner, man, we're going to take a look at something that I've kind of come up with. It won't break the bank for you guys that don't want to go out and spend 50 to 100, 200, 300 bucks on a rod and reel. I'm going to show you how to make a cheap homemade rod and reel, guys, that you can throw pretty much any bait that's out there. It'll cost you pennies to do it, and you'll be able to use, like I said, any bait on the market. Some of the simple stuff that you'll use, basically what I have here is fiberglass resin, that you can get at pretty much any place, Walmart, um, any kind of auto body, Walmart carries it so it's easy to get there. What you're going to do is mix that up in a, what I used was one of my wife's detergent cups so it's disposable. And what you're going to do is mix up just enough that you can take a spool of line and it doesn't matter who makes the line or what kind of line it is. In the center of every spool of line, there's a round hole. You're gonna fill that hole up with the fiberglass resin. You're gonna let that dry, and then you're just gonna take a drill. You're gonna drill a hole through that, out the other side, and then what you're gonna do is, once it dries, I stick a washer in there, so you can see that, and it stays in there while it's wet, and once it dries, it will not go come out. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take a screw, I'm going to place that through the hole, and then I'm going to take a nut, and what I've done here is took an old handle off of a reel that was no good. And what I'm going to do with that handle, I should have told you before, I'm going to put this screw through the handle and then back through that hole. Once I get that on there, I'm going to take this nut and I'm going to tighten that nut up on there. Once I get that nut hand tight, I'm going to take a pair of pliers. I'm going to hold the nut and I'm going to take a regular screwdriver. And I'm just going to tighten that down pretty much as tight as I can get it, guys. You can't get it too tight. On this particular handle, it has a little screw that actually screwed into the reel itself, but if you tighten it, it will also help from that handle spinning on there. So you're going to take a Phillips screwdriver, and you're going to tighten that little screw down and get it to where it sinks into the plastic of the spool itself. So now what you have is a spool of line with a handle on it. You're going to take that, any old rod that you have or that you can get at a yard sale, junk sale, check your like um, thrift shops and things like that because man, you pick up old rods for nothing. Guys will give them away. So you want to take an old one. You want to take all the eyes off of the rod itself except the very end eye and you want to leave that on there. Then what you're going to do with the rod is you're going to drill a hole, and it doesn't matter if it's metal, composite, it doesn't matter. But you're going to drill a hole through there, all the way through to the other side. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your spool, and you're going to slide that through that hole. Then on the other side of it, where the bolt sticks out, or the screw sticks out, you're going to take another nut, and you're going to screw that nut on there, screw it down, not super, super tight because you want the spool to turn. Then you're going to take another nut and basically you're going to use that nut to kind of lock the other nut down so it doesn't go in and out, you know, loosen and tight. So what you want is that just tight enough that that spool stays on there, but it doesn't have a whole lot of wobble, but enough that you can still make it move. So then once you get that on there, what you want to do then is take a pair of needle nose pliers. You're going to grab the bottom nut and you're going to take another pair of pliers and you're going to tighten down 
on this nut here. And it's what that does, it locks those two nuts together so it won't come off. So now what you have here is basically a rod and reel, guys. And again, you can use any spool of line you want to use, guys. It doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter if it's braid, um, mono, it doesn't matter. So you use whatever you want to use, guys. So then what you're going to do is you're basically going to take the line. You're going to spool that line out. You're going to run it through this top eye. And if I could see a little better, guys, it would probably be a little easier. Once you get that run through there, you're just going to pull it down. Guys, I'm going to show you some of the baits that you can use. This is a rattle trap. And trust me, this homemade rod will throw this rattle trap. It'll also throw this frog. This is a topwater frog, guys. It will throw a soft body topwater frog. It'll throw a plastic frog that you can reel across the top. <clears throat> This right here is a road runner. It'll also throw that road runner. It'll throw a spinner bait. It'll throw a creature bait. It'll throw a swim bait. It will throw a worm. It'll throw pretty much any kind of bait you want to throw on this thing, guys. So trust me, you don't have to break the bank to get a rod and reel, guys. And it's so easy to do. Anybody can do it, and again, it is as cheap as pennies, guys. So, hopefully, man, that'll help you out. You don't have to go and spend a whole lot of money on a rod and reel when you can make one at home a heck of a lot cheaper, guys. So, trust me, this thing works. We'll take it outside, give it a test, and you're going to get to see. It'll throw pretty much anyway. Hey, guys, we're going to check out this new homemade rod and reel and see just how good this thing actually casts. I think you're going to be surprised. What you're going to do is start out with this thing and use it just like if you were using a fly rod, guys. You're going to spool off as much line as you think you need to make that cast. So if you're using a heavier bait, you're going to be able to make a longer cast. Lighter weight baits, you're going to make shorter cast. So what I'm going to start out with is a rattle trap. And you're going to leave that hanging down about a foot to a foot and a half from the end of the rod. And what you're going to do is take that line in the opposite hand of the reel and you're going to cast it just like if you were casting a fly rod, guys. You're not going to whip it back and forth. You're just going to make a long cast. So let's see how good this thing works. All right, guys. That thing casted just like if I was using a regular rod and reel. So I'm going to walk out. We're going to see how far that cast actually is. Hopefully, I'll stay in the camera, guys. But as you can see, this thing works just like a regular rod and reel. Okay guys, you see this thing cast probably about 40 to 50 yards. That is incredible for something that you made at home and it cost you pennies to make. So for about the cost of a spool of line, that's what it's going to cost you for this rod and rig. You can get these old rods anywhere guys. You can get them at flea markets, you can get them from your buddies. If you can't get one, Go to somewhere where some of the guys are fishing and ask one of them, hey man, have you got an old rod that you're gonna throw away or you don't want? Because there are a ton of them out there, guys. Again, it's gonna cost you whatever that spool of line is. So if you have so many spools of line at home, it's not gonna cost you a penny. So, guys, don't go out and spend a ton of money on a rod and reel just to go fishing because you can make one at home and do the same thing that that expensive rod and reel 
will do. So guys, I hope these tips help you out. Go ahead and make you one of these daggum homemade rod and reels. If you make one, hey, hit me up on Instagram TV, Instagram, and YouTube. Let me see what you guys can come up with, man. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this and catch a lot of fish. Hey guys, until next time, keep your lines tight and your hooks in the water. Hope you catch some big fish, guys.